Your ability to persuade others is one of the most powerful resources you will ever discover. During this eye-opening podcast, you'll join Wayne Sutton as you uncover the secrets of influence based upon science and proven in the real world. Hey, and welcome to another episode of Your Persuasion Coach. I am Wayne Sutton. Today, I want to talk about some mastery principles of building not only a business, but an enterprise, something you can take with you and leave as a legacy. Now, as you're aware, if you've listened to our podcast, you coach with us, I believe that your most powerful asset is your mind. More specifically, your mindset. That's why we talk about influencing yourself before we influence others. So, I do not believe in fake it till you make it. I do believe, however, in act as if. So your business only grows as quickly as you, your mind, your thinking will grow. So if you want to create a million dollar business, $10 million business, whatever that is, you must think like a million or $10 million business owner. You must already be in that state of mind, postured, acting as if. So I'm gonna give you a couple principles that you can use to build your business and go through this. I want you to take notes. I'm gonna give you seven principles. So this is gonna be a little longer podcast than normal. We're not gonna rush through this. I want you to grab a hold of this in fullness. Are you with me? Okay. All right, so let's jump in. Okay, first thing in your notes I want you to write down is the principle of transcendent purpose. Great companies, great business leaders do great things, but they, as I said earlier, they usually do it around a way of leaving a lasting legacy, making the world better, making it a better place for you and for me. Such leaders create causes, not businesses. If you want to get to a million, ten million dollar plus business, then at the core, at the very core of it, have a greater than you purpose for existence, a purpose bigger than yourself and your own self interest. Now, many people will hear this, I go, oh, yeah, that sounds great, and then they'll jump over. Wayne, what's principle number two? I want an action step. This is an action step. If I leave this earth today, my business has helped people in this way and can continue. Maybe it doesn't continue, but does it have a purpose for existing in the now? Okay, so number one, the principle of a transcendent purpose. Number two, the principle of high probability thinking. Whatever you focus on is what will multiply. If you focus on the problem, yeah, you get more to the problem. If you focus on finding a solution, your unconscious, your mind will open up doors and share with you solutions. So whatever your attention, wherever your attention is, is probably going to drive the outcome. So in your business right now, are you focused on a problem or a solution? I was just having a text chat with me and two partners in a business I'm in. We were talking about what our solution is and how we need to bring that in a way that lets other people see the solution. Again, are you focused on the negative or are you focused on growing your business? Number three, the principle of magnetic attraction. Real simple, guys. What you think, you you basically attract into your life. Now, I know a lot of people, uh, they would discount this as law of attraction. I believe there's a difference in it. I believe it's proven in the how the neuromechanics of the mind work. But your thoughts make your business in your world. If you're attracting low income customers, difficult customers, then your beliefs about that income worthiness or about the kind of clientele that you will want or attracting consciously and unconsciously those marginal customers. Your business is always a mirror of your own inner thinking. So to go to the next level in business, you must first get to the next level in your mind. You must know the value you offer and raise your mental sights on the customers you want to attract. What challenges do you have in your business? And do they mirror back to a way of your thinking? 
So the principle of magnetic attraction, what we focus upon is going to be attracted. Number four, probably my favorite, the principle of deliberate creation. Having hopes, dreams, visions of being a multimillionaire, having a multi-million dollar per year business is not enough to create it. Although first step, deliberate creation comes from deliberate intention, from making a decision a decision that no matter what, you will take your business to the next level. So those who follow me, I, I love this one Bible passage in the book of Job that I love. And it talks about you will make a decree and it will be established unto you. So what that means is that word decree literally means a decision. It means I've cut away all other opportunities. So when your deliberate intention is... I will take this business to the next level. Then your deliberate creation manifests from that. When we come from a place of 100% committed intention and, and truly synchronizing that with our actions, then magic happens. Find the right people and resources to support your vision. Dan Sullivan said it's not who, it's not how, but it's who. It's who, not how. It's a great book. Momentum pulls you in the direction of your dreams. Are you in a wishful state? Or are you committed 100% to creating it? Number five, the principle of mastermind marketing. Marketing is not a battle of products as much as a battle of perception. It all starts in your customer's mind. Perceived value, first and foremost, is what attracts customers to your business. Real value is what retains them. So what are you doing to create perceived value in your customer's mind? And are you winning against the competition? Number six, the, the principle of superior consequences. So with every action, there's a consequence or an outcome. While you cannot control the outcome, you can control and responsible for actions. Really simple. So no matter what your current level of success is, the business that you desire requires higher level strategies and higher level performance actions than past. Let me say that again. A higher level business, your business growth requires higher level strategies and higher level performance actions than your past efforts. What actions can you take today? Where are you getting the inferior outcome and how can you change that? Finally, number seven, the principle of mental wealth or mental riches. All riches are demand first. If your mental attitude, listen to me, this is extremely important. If your mental attitude determines that you are stuck at 100K per year, you'll be at 100K per year. As you believe, so shall you receive. To quote scripture again. So if you were to picture that business, let's say two, three years from now, with the revenue, the profitability that you desire, how would that business be different than what you're operating right this moment? How differently would you need to be to run a business in that way? And here's the thought, guys. Mindset changes do not happen overnight. It takes focus, effort, attention to shifting deeply embedded thinking to a new level. It can be accelerated. So, a couple ways. Number one, timeline therapy. Number two, hypnosis, hypnotherapy. Number three, there's some exercises we give you inside of our persuasion coaching program to help you through this. Sometimes just really doing the diagnosis first and finding where the embedded belief is so we can pull it out. Are you excited? Go back and listen to this podcast again. Longer than normal, still under 10 minutes or so. But I want you to go back, jot those notes down. Don't just write a list of seven things that Wayne said. Jot them down and really, really focus on them. And, as always, jump over to Your Persuasion Coach. Click on the button at the top that says Work With Me. Let's see if we can work together. We'd love to have a discussion with you. No obligation. Make it a great day. Go out there. Influence yourself. Influence others. And impact the world. God bless. Go to yourpersuasioncoach.com for more powerful resources on how to influence yourself, influence others, and impact the world.